All right, let's start off the sweet sausage baked ziti. And I have no idea what happened to the footage of the sausage cooking in this pot, but needless to say, uh, it was about 20 ounces of sausage, about five links, cut open the link, squeeze the sausage meat into the pot, browned it up over a medium, medium low heat, and now I'm in the process of deglazing, which should be done on about a medium high heat uh, to medium. And you can really use anything to deglaze. I just like to use wine. Uh, that's just personal preference. And then, yeah, you just want to give this a couple of minutes to uh, deglaze. Also, you want to add about a tablespoon of butter in there just to make everything nice and shiny and sheeny. And, well, butter makes everything better. All right, as you can see, got a nice little thing going there. You want to add a 15-ounce can of crushed tomatoes and a big old 28-ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And then you're going to want to let this simmer for at least 10 minutes, but preferably 20 to 25 minutes over a nice low to medium low heat. Then at your earliest convenience, you want to add just a, like a teaspoon and a half of sugar just to get rid of that tin canned tomato taste. And then you want to add about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. You can add more if you like your sauce a little bit spicy. Um, and then salt and pepper to taste. Uh, I'm typically, because it's tomatoes and they're usually because they're canned, they're a little bit salty. I would err on uh, being a little more conservative with the salt and a little more liberal with the pepper. But yeah, then you just, this starts off the, you know, at least 10, but 20 to 25 minutes of just simmering and reducing this wonderful sauce. Then about halfway through, you want to re-add the sausage meat. So it can get heated back up and incorporate itself into the sauce. And do this about the halfway point. Uh, so still have a little bit of uh, simmering to go. Okay, so the sauce is nearly done. You can do this at the end of the 25-minute mark. It's not going to matter. But we've got a few more ingredients to add. What you see here is a third of a cup of chopped fresh basil. If you like the sauce a little sweeter, you can, of course... Go up to a half a cup. It's all up to you. Then you want to grab a cup of heavy cream and dump that in there. And then give it a, a bit of a stir. Get everything all nice and incorporated. And then you want about a half a cup of Romano cheese. I use Romano, but if you like Pecorino Romano, you can certainly use that. If you want Parmesan, you can certainly use that. But a half a cup of freshly grated cheese. And once again, give it a stir. You can also free, feel free to leave it on the range a couple of more minutes over low to medium low heat. Again, just uh, give the flavors a chance to incorporate a little bit. But keep in mind, you should have uh, preheated your oven to 425 degrees. And because this is going to go in the oven for, you know, about 20 minutes. So let's get on to the next step. Okay, at some point, you should have got a pot of water to the boil and grabbed yourself a one-pound box of baked ziti and done that motherfucker up. I will say because it's a pasta bake, it's really important if you don't want your pasta overcooked. I mean, if you like tender pasta, that's fine. But really take that minute off, even up to 90 seconds off of the pasta because, remember, it's still going to cook in the oven. And you just want to give this a nice little stir around till everything is well incorporated. And we're on to the next thing. All right. In a 9 by 13 inch baking pan, it's time to add the pasta. And then you just want to smooth everything out into a nice even layer. And, of course, we have to cover the top of this with cheese. Everybody loves cheese. And unfortunately, I forgot to turn the camera on for the uh, out of the oven shot. But basically, you want to bake this for 15 to 20 minutes. You can also sprinkle a little bit more of that Romano or Pecorino Romano cheese on top if you want that crust just a little bit crispier. So, uh, yeah, pop it in that 425 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes and enjoy. Sweet sausage baked ziti.
done.